can't see me, but I just threw my hands up in the air because I'm so excited. Some of you might be wondering where October's ink flight was. And, um, I recorded the video, but I never posted it because I don't really know why. I, j I got busy and then my computer wasn't working and then my internet wasn't working and yeah. So I still have October's ink flight video. Um, I know it's a month late, but do you still want me to post it? I feel like I should still post it, but also I'm probably going to post this first. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably just going to post it. I'm probably just going to post it and not make a big deal about it. Um, maybe I will get that together before I upload this one. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah. So if you've been wondering where I am, it's, I've just not been doing pen stuff. So yeah, but I'm still getting ink flight, and um, yeah, and and I've gotten my ink vents, and I have opened one of the days already because I was trying to get ahead of ink flight. We'll see if that happens because I'm gonna be going out of town next week, and yeah. Anyway, we'll see what happens. But today's all about ink flight. This is a A5 size box. It's a little heavy. I'm assuming there's a paper item in here. We'll see. I could be wrong. It could be something else. It's just heavy. Um, yeah. As always, I'm excited about Ink Flight Day. It's my favorite day of the month, even when I don't post the video. Um, but yeah, let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Well, it looks like I was correct. I was correct. We have a notebook, a Rodeo Web Notepad, A5, 192 pages micro perforated lined 90 oh it's like a flip top 90 gsm 360 convertible folding cover i have this lovely red color oh cute i'm assuming it's the cream paper looks like it i'm not a super fan of the cream paper but cute notebook and i'm using this new lamp so it's going to reflect the light over everything then we have the sticker a bob ross <laughs> a bob ross Octopus, Inktopus, I love it. Love, love, love. Where's the ha happy little trees? Then we have the inks, which I don't know what they are yet. Well, let's see what it says about the notepad. What's the story? Tell tales with both real and imagined with the reporter style Rodia web notepad. The colorful leather at hardcover opens flat, can be folded over while you jot, dream, or muse away on the fountain pen friendly paper. 90 GSM ivory brushed vellum paper. This Rodia web notepad has the size and volume for your most ambitious ideas. Even if you want to test every pen and ink in your collection, the 96 A5 size line sheets can handle it. Every page is micro perforated for easy removal to organize or toss your work. Have you ever had a happy accident with ink? Embrace the joy of writing with the Bob Ross style Inktopus sticker, courtesy of our pen pal, Vanessa Langton, which you can find on Instagram at Vanessa underscore Langton. How'd you enjoy this ink month's ink flight? We'd love to read your thoughts. Uh, please provide feedback at the link. So cool. Awesome. I'm assuming that uh, the notebooks are in uh, multiple colors, but this red is really nice. <laughs> I like it. Should we open it? Let's go ahead and open it. Well, let's test our inks first. We'll set that off to the side. We'll do like a pen test or something. I don't have many pens around here, to be honest, but we'll do what we can. I saved the whole, did I say I saved the whole piece of tape? I'm so excited. Um, okay, let's see what inks we have. I have no idea. What do we got here? Pannonia Ink Laboratory K-010. L017. This looks like a, I'm not sure if it's a blue or a blue purple. Z005. Z015, which looks like a green, two greens. 011. This looks like a cool yellowy orangey one, maybe. L018, another purple. And P006. Let's see what the sheet says. Although Pannonia offers 41 ink colors in its standard lineup, owner Mate Bicfalvi, I'm sure that I'm saying that incorrectly and I'm so sorry, has actually a portfolio of over 200. The Ink Laboratory is a way to share these fun experiments and reduce waste. For the names, the letter references the type of color, L equals violet, for example, and the number is sequential. The higher the number, the more recent the color. If you must have a bottle of any of the colors of this month's box, you'll have to contact Pannonia directly to see if they have any more in the laboratory. 
Okay, so I'm guessing this is a blue because I know that like Kek is blue in Hungarian. And yeah, anyway, okay. We're just guessing. Okay, cool. Wait, S eleven? Do I have an S? Oh I do. That's that one. Okay. Okay. Laboratory K010. Mate says this is one of the more popular ink laboratory colors that straddles either a blue or a green with chroma shading. Zero one L017. A strong candidate for the standard lineup. This blue this bold bluish violet is the richest ink in the set. L018 is um, created exclusively for a Hungarian pen turner. This berry-like purple color has a juicy flow. Judging from the color on the vial, I really like that one. P006, one of the first reds Mate created in the laboratory. This light pinkish red darkens around the edges. S011, this muted darker orange has strong shading with undertones of yellow. Reminds me of, um, it looks like it has like orange and yellow and green in here. It kind of reminds me a little, just, just by, just by um, sloshing it around the vial, it reminds me a little of Colorverse Martian. We'll see when we swatch it. Uh, Colorverse Martian or, um, oh, there's another one. I can't think of what it is, but Colorverse Martian is the first one that came to mind. So we'll see. Uh, also reminds me a little of Noodlers. I think it's called Southwestern Sunset now. I don't know if that's what it's going to be like. It seems more Martian to me, but I could be wrong. Z005. This zesty bubbly green has lively shading. Looks like it's going to be a nice, a nice green. And then this lightly saturated muted green has undertones of brown, giving this ink a complex character. Oh, that I'm excited about. Looks pretty in the vial. Oh, very cool. All right, cool. Inks I don't have, which is always fun for me because I don't have it. I actually haven't been buying a ton of ink samples and stuff lately, so um, it's a good shot that I will uh, be getting, will be getting ink flights that I haven't swatched already. So let's put these in order of the sheet. K010, L017, 018. Your, they should already be in order because I looked at them on the sheet. Hi, Purple. 11, Z5, and Z15. Cool. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's get to swatching. As always, I'm going to be swatching on some coloring cards. And we're going to be swatching in my Hobonichi Weeks for 2023. I have three different books to choose from for my 20. 24 ink stuff and I still don't know which one I'm going to use. I think I'm leaning towards, I got the starry, the starry cover and I'm kind of leaning towards that just because I'll see it a lot, but then I'm also leaning towards carrying that one with me so I can write in it every single day. Um, I use this one pretty often, but um, I think if I had it in my purse or whatever, I might use it more. I have another purpley shade and also the gray. So we'll see. I don't know. I haven't chosen yet. I haven't chosen yet. And um, yeah, we did some, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be swatching the ink vent in here as well since it's the 2023 ink vent. Um, so yeah, okay. Um, as always, I'll be using my Moon Man N6 glass dip pen. I feel like I'm like so far away. The setup is so interesting for me. Um, my Moon Man N6, um, jet pens used to sell them. I got mine on eBay, you can get them on Amazon. I love this dip pen. I know everybody's using the Kakimori steel nibs. I don't have one of those. I don't have one of those because they're really expensive and I'm not certain I'm going to like it. So I don't want to spend that kind of money on it. So I don't know. Um, a viewer kindly sent me some information about where to buy one cheaper, but still I can't make myself do it. <laughs> I also have a pearl up here. P pearl, you going to say hi to the pen people? You going to say hi to the pen people? Say hi to the pen people. And... A plethora of craft store paintbrushes. I still really want to get like a set of my favorite brushes because I do have favorites of the brushes that I use, but I haven't. There she is. There she is. Hi, Purple. She just gave y'all a hug. Um, Purple, you're in my way. Can you move? Can you let me swatch the ink now? I have to get back to work. So, can I do this, please? 
Oh, here's another thing. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if it's showing up, but look. I uh, made my hair pink and purple. I don't know if it showed up. If it didn't, I'll cut it out, but... I'm trying to see. It's really short, so... Ta-da! Um, if you want to see what it looks like uh, for real, other than just me showing it some strands on the cam- uh, possibly showing some strands on the camera, um... Yeah, I posted it on Instagram. I'm hella lovely on Instagram. Okay, purple, purple. <laughs> you can't sit up here. I need to record my video. Can we snuggle after I record the video? Oh, you want that crinkle plastic. I know you do. You can't have it. You can't have it. Purple. <laughs> okay, come here. Come here. Come here, Mishpee. Yes, such a girl. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl, but I need you to go sit in your catchy. Can you sit in your catchy? We'll snuggle later. Okay. Thanks, Pearl. That's Pearl. <laughs> She's so cute. All right, let's get going. Let's get going. I'm a little bit on the time crunch. It took me a minute to set this up, and we just spent a lot of time talking. So, oh, I need a, here it is, file holder excited this looks like a really nice like it looks like a dusty muted blue that i like so we'll see we'll see we'll see okay so this is from ink flight uh, november 23 oh i like this so much okay Pannonia. and this is a zero one zero. I really like that. Okay. Um, I really like that. Reminds me a little of Colorverse Rainy Day, but although I think that's more blue. This is, oh, this is so pretty. I understand why it's one of the most favorites. I like so many colors, so many inks that are basically this color. Vinta Lucia also comes to mind. However, I think that that is a little lighter. Um, there's one of the, I think it's one of the Tatcha inks is also this similar color. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that very much. I like that very, very much. Oh, I'm even swatching these on this exact week. I was just trying to get a week that was clear of inks before it. I didn't, so I was going to do 30 inks this month and I started, I actually started recording uh, early and I got <laughs> two videos done and then I stopped choosing inks. It looks like there's a, like some gray behind there. Um, yeah, or maybe some greenish gray. I really like that one. Okay. That's a winner. Okay. So L17. Hopefully you can see this. I'm still f trying to figure out the setup, so I'm sorry if I'm like off frame or in a weird spot. It looks like I'm good though. It's one of those canvas lights and I thought it would be better. It's good, but I thought it'd be better. This is L is dash zero one seven. That's also pretty. It does remind me. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me. It reminds me of another ink as well, though. Which isn't a bad thing. Like, obviously, they're experimenting with inks, and obviously, there's going to be things that are similar to 
you know, there's only so many colors in the world, so there's going to be, it's going to be similar to things other people have done, but what does this remind me of? I don't know. I wish, I wish that I had my swatches organized in a way that I could do comparisons easier. But yeah, this is like a good standard, like, it's purple, but I think in the right light or in the right pen, I could see how it would look blue. Um, but yeah, it's definitely purple, but I like it. It's a little flat, looks like it could have some nice shading. Um, but yeah, nice color, nice color. Get our hobo swatch. Kind of reminds me, I want to say it reminds me of one they already have maybe, but yeah, that's nice. Next up we have L18, which is another, another purple. Uh, you know I'm not going to complain about a purple, unless it's, you know, the purple. Unless it's Aurora purple. I feel like that's definitely the only one I very loudly complain about. If they called it anything but purple, I'd be happy. You know, you know. You know the drill. 11, 23. This is definitely more of a, like a berry purple. Berry color. One, eight. Sad the writing doesn't reflect it as much, but Looks like it has some nice shading. Looks like a darker version of my hair color. So my hair color, for those of you who decided to look at the photo, or who already have looked at the photo and want to know more, it starts, my roots are like this dark purple color, like dark purpley blue, actually kind of like that color. <laughs> and then the middle color, it's like a three color ombre. And the middle color is um, like a berry color and then um, kind of like this but not really and then the ends are uh, like a pink like a magenta maybe perhaps this one seems kind of dry and I don't know if I just didn't get enough ink on the brush or if it's actually dry very pretty Also, like I said, looks like it has good shading. So far I'm pleased with the color palette. Like this is kind of my jam. <laughs> the first three colors are really like something else. I didn't do a very good job on that edge. Mm, whatever, we're just gonna leave it. I said it's dry, but then I put more ink on it, so now we gotta let it do its thing. Very pretty. Uh, next up we have P006, which looks like a fantastic red color. I feel like I can zoom in a little bit still. So. Um, okay. Ooh, this is nice, I think. Looks like a nice standard red. Very nice. Looks like kind of a watery version of reds I might have already. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is special enough that I would want to get a bottle of it, but it's very nice. Um, reminds me a lot of Le Bain Aries a little bit. 
Um, yeah, that looks like a nice standard red. Oh, and the swatch though, it's kind of light. I prefer the writing, I think, to the actual swatch. I definitely see where they say what it's kind of pink. I definitely prefer this in the writing and that scribble. A little light, but still a pretty color. Also still falls within my color, my color range. It looks really nice with the first bunch. The writing made it look like it was gonna be a little more saturated, I think, but yeah, it's still a nice color. Perhaps not for everybody after seeing this swatch, but I, oh my God, I love this. <laughs> Next up we have S011. This is that yellowy orangey one that I'm kind of interested to see how it's gonna turn out. Let me to wipe my nip off again. Somehow I got cat hair on there, per pearl. Per pearl. Oh, this is ugly. This is like an ugly red orangey thing. 11, 23. Oh, yeah, it's definitely got some green. Oh, it's so gross. It's so gross, but I love it. Pannonia Laboratory. Perhaps maybe not Martian. I feel like Martian is maybe a little more orangey red, and this is more a yellowy green. It's so gross. It's so gross, I love it. It's disgusting, but I love it. It's like the disgusting that I love. Oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot to write the name. S dash O one one. Oh, that's so gross, I love it. It's orange, but it's yellow. There's green in there, I think. Oh, that's nasty. That's nasty. It's like, it looks like it's like highlighter red under, or highlighter yellow under it, but like orange. I feel like this is, okay, you know the, I don't have it sitting here. You know on the white tortoise shell how it sometimes has like the little brownie orangey bits in the like inside the tort like the green tortoiseshell stripes i feel like this is a match for that orangey little blip mine has a couple orangey little blips i kind of want to put this ink in that pen <laughs> i might have to make that happen i might have to make that happen i should do a currently ink since i'm not doing 30 inks and maybe then i will put this in it gross Gross, I love it. Yeah, you too, Pepro? Tell me how you feel. Tell me how you feel about it, Pepro. Hi. I'm almost done. We got two left. Okay, next up we have our greens. We have Z005. Um, 11, 23. Z, 0, 0, 5. That, uh, that yellowy one did some funky things to my water and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I 
I like this color palette a lot. They look really nice together. It's like a weird rainbow. Nice little grassy green. Mm, grassy meadowy green reminds me of Twisby Prairie. Or uh, Prairie Green or uh, maybe Diamine Meadow. I like it. This is such a fun ink flight. <laughs> and then we have Z15. Our last green, our last ink. Ink flight, then twenty three. Z zero zero oops zero zero one Oh, that is, that is some pale ink. Like a muted sage kind of color. Is that what it said? Or am I just making that up? It just said muted green. That has undertones of brown. I can kind of see that where it's drying already. It's a nice earthy color. All right. This is a fun ink flight. This needs some time to dry, but I don't have time to let it dry. So we're going to just show off our swatches anyway. This reminds me so much of something that already exists and I wish I knew what it was. It's kind of dirty. It's kind of dusty. There's a lot of like gray in the background. I love that. I, lo I really like this one. And we have, that's K010. Then we have L017. No, 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 for pro. No, 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 no. I love you, but no. She's stepping on wet ink swatches. Then we have L18, which is definitely more of a berry. Reminds me, makes me think a lot of um, KWZ gummy berry. Ooh, that's way too, way too zoomy. Then we have oops, P006, which is this uh, faded red. Zero one one. That's so interesting. Z zero zero five, and this still needs to dry, but Z zero one five. This is such a pretty little palette. It's like a nice little rainbow. It's like in a mixed up order, but still. Here is what. Oh, I didn't blot this one off on my paper towel, so it actually that's what that is. Um, but yeah, you could see. This does really interesting things, definitely the blue. It's like this one with like some dark blue in it. You can see how dirty that, that uh, zero one zero is. 
I like that a lot. Look at it. Some fake chromatography. These swatches are also still drawing, but here's what they look like in the lineup. I like the mixed up rainbow. Because you kind of still keep in the order, but then it's like shifted a little bit. I like it. I like it. I like, I can't wait to, yeah. I want to get this in a pen. I want to get all of these in a pen, to be honest. Like I could take or leave the greens. Um, this also reminds me a little bit of the Diamine Ink Vent from last year, Cozy Up. It's a little darker, I think, but it reminds me of that color a little bit, and I really like that one. I like that one enough to get a bottle. I think it's a little more, I think Cozy Up is a little more salmon-y or a little lighter, pinkier, but that's what popped in my head when I looked at it. So, yeah, lovely, lovely. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching, hopefully, if I upload this. That is a problem. Thank you again, Ink Flight, for, excuse me, another fun trip. Thank you for the goodies. Should we open this real fast? I really gotta go. I really gotta go, but we're gonna do it anyway. I think everybody knows what a Rodeo notebook looks like, but I've never seen one like this where it flips up. like a big report style. I've seen like a little reporter style notebook, but I wonder if this would be good to take to work for some like scribble notes. I really love this red color though. I'm gonna move these swatches. They're all still a little damp, but this one definitely needs to dry. Has a little elastic at the bottom. Doesn't want you to open it. Yeah, and then it has, you can flip it like this and then you got your little notepad. Nice paper. Do I have a pen? I do. Here, I have this pen. I have this pen. I have this marker I haven't used in like two years. I have, what else do I got over here? I have an Energel. I can try that. And I have a highlighter. And I have one of those, a metallic dot marker. Okay, let's do a little pen test. A little pen test real quick. This is the Uniball Signal 207 in black. You can see. Can I zoom in a little bit? Signal. Oh wait. The Energel. what this is called, just the Energel. I don't know if it has a specific name. I got it from either Jet Pens or Tokyo Pen Shop. It's a gray, gray, um, 07. Really smooth on this paper. Um, this is the Kuretake marker. Um, I have Alexander Hamilton in here. It still writes, yo. I have not used this pen pretty much since I filled it. <laughs> I found it in a drawer the other day and put it on the desk. So yeah, there you go. There's that. Um, I did a video on that pen. Um, here's the Propus highlighter. That's nice. Propus. The paper is nice and smooth. Then we have a clean Boop, boop, boop. Kuretake clean color dot. Metallic. I have a 
Twisby here. I don't know what ink is in here. Twisby. Twisby Eco Medium. Oh, I think I have a mild liner too. Mild liner. Everything writes really nicely on this paper. Anything else? Oh, here, I have this pen sitting here. Um, I think that's all I've got sitting here. Oh, here. Let's, I have... Well, let's see if this even writes. This has been, like, sitting here. This is my shown design, pocket six. Yep. Okay, I think this is a medium. Do I have anything finer? Oh, one more. Here I am. Retro 51. Retro 51. Yeah, there we go. That's all the pens I kind of have sitting here. Uh, yeah. Anything else that pops up? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, cool. Yeah, so here's our writing samples. Everything wrote really smoothly on the paper. Let's see what... The Aurora 888 is all the only one that bled through a little bit, it looks like. Definitely get some brailing with the Signo, but I have a heavy hand with these pens. The Energel a little bit. But yeah, let's see. It's micro perforated, so let's go ahead and a nice little tear. There we go. There we go. Oh god, that zoomed out so far. Oh, because it went to five. I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, close enough. So there we go. That is our little notepad. So this is kind of nice. I think I could take this to work and use this to jot down notes and stuff. Has a nice little groove for the elastic. Ta-da! Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this immense ink flight. I love the way these colors look together. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of this month's ink flight. Did you get the ink flight? Do you wish you got the ink flight? I have no idea if there are spots available. I will link to the ink flight in the description box down below. Um, and you can check. They have been at capacity, but I know of some people who have stopped getting it. So there might be spots available. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I get this uploaded. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very soon. Take care. Love you, bye!